What's up, Rockstars and Lambs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Studio J, right? I am sitting, actually, um, in my dressing room. I have a dressing room. Isn't that funny? Um, and my bracelet's coming off, so I'm, like, trying to play with my bracelet. We got it. Anyway, so, um, I hope you've all had a really excellent week, and I want to thank everybody so much for um, visiting the blogs. And for everybody who's gone to bestofpueblo.com and voted for best local blog or blogger, thanks so much. And again, thank you for filling out um, best salon category and best use of social media. I don't know if I'm going to be shortlisted yet. We won't know anything until like late August, September when they tally up all the votes and then we'll see how I did. Last year I um, took home the award for best local blogger blogger. So I'd like to do a couple other categories and even the blog categories. So this week has been crazy because last time I talked to you, I talked um, very seriously in my bedroom. I was having a moment. I was having a sad moment. I have moments a lot of the time. I'm going to be very confessional for a second. When you have a disagreement with a friend or a series of friends, it's so disruptive to your being, do you know what I mean? Um, especially the ones that you're close to. You No one likes to have a, uh, a disagreement or be upset with others. Um, but for some reason, it has to happen, it's part of life. You know, um, I recently tweeted, it was today, um, a picture of a white runway with empty white chairs and the white light shining. And I almost made it a timeline photo actually on Facebook um, to be kind of symbolic. Um, but I had the um, caption abandoning the runway and then the hashtag Cooley is the new Garbo. Now some of you that have followed the vlogs for the last 18 months, I think that the channel's been around, have um, seen the hashtag Cooley is the new Garbo many, many times. As you know, I have an obsession with Greta Garbo. My obsession with Greta Garbo was that she was so goddamn good at what she did that she just vanished at 36 um, from the industry and never came back from doing a, never did a movie again. Nothing like that. And everybody talks about what a legend she was, but they didn't really let her know that. And it makes me scared sometimes because have you ever like seen like a role model or you study people that you love and you just want to be like when you get older or fathom you would be like that in your industry? And sometimes they wonder, if I'm going to be like a Greta Garbo of my own industry. Because a lot of the same feelings and things that she did, I feel the very same way. All the way from, from her young career to, to, you know, to the point where she was at the top of the world. Um, and so it's kind of funny because I have my moments where I love being on social media and I love talking to people. But, you know, I don't know if it's a maturity thing, but I sometimes just feel like... Um, Pulling away from all of the stuff that you know is sometimes the only satisfaction you can get because it's it doesn't hurt you. Do you know what I mean? I think friends tend to hurt you a little bit. I'm in a spot today. It's kind of a mental whirlwind of when I don't hear back from people or when people need to get a hold of me and they need my attention like that. But when I need their attention or I need something, it doesn't get reciprocated. And that can leave somebody feeling um, rejected and unwanted. And sometimes I wonder if that's how Greta Garbo felt. Sometimes I wonder if that's how a lot of people feel and they just don't voice it. Um, and I feel like that lately. And it's not fun. Like it's really the most unwelcoming feeling because being a people person and being um, a public speaker and being a personality uh, publicly requires you to always be around people and be bubbly and I hate faking it. I hate faking any of that. I had a, a um, an event a couple years ago that I hosted. It was a comedy night and I didn't like the thing at all. I don't even put it on my resume because I was so appalled by my behavior that day um, and the things that were going through my head while I was presenting that I didn't feel like Josh. I didn't feel 100%. And it's sad because that same feeling creeps up every now and then. And so, I don't know, some people would label it depression. Some people would just let, um, label it you being manic depressive because I tend to go up and down quite a bit. I don't ever see a reason for concern um, to the public. I think I see a reason for concern directed at my friends. Um, there is a new blog out on Studio J. Wright blog, Pretty World Fabulous Life. You go to studiojwright.blogspot.com called Don't Be a Bully, Be a Friend. Because I think sometimes our friends, 
they think they're doing good for us, but they push us in a corner and they feel they have the right because they know us so well to let us know exactly what, um, to let us know exactly what they think of us. Or they say hurtful things and I feel like that's bullying. Um, I feel like they try to force something out of you. And I don't like that. Um, in reference to saying abandoning the runway, as you know, I had many, many years of talking about labels. And I still talk about labels on my brands and stuff, uh, on my blogs and things. But um, I wrote a fashion column and everything. But I've noticed with age, as these kind of things have crept in, and I've been watching my pennies and been a little more sensible in my life, that I've really abandoned the runway in a sense of fashion is amazing and fashion is a personal statement. Um, your style is a personal statement. Fashion is beautiful and longing after those things is wonderful. Looking at fashion magazines is great, but when do you just abandon it and walk away and say, I do what I do and I do it well and I don't need a magazine to tell me that I'm amazing, you know? I think that I'm to that point. I think that the, I think that with my birthday coming up, I'm having a lot of those moments again where I'm just being introspective and having self-talks with myself. So I don't know. Um, if you're on Twitter, hashtag Coolie is a new garbo, it'll show you a lot of insightful things. Some of them are very lonely, very Lana Del Rey, <laughs> but it works, you know. Um, I'm really okay, but I do have concerns about um, some of my friendships at the moment. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say is that there was um, a situation in town with a restaurant, and one of the owners had made some very racial and homophobic remarks to me a couple months ago. It's been a couple months, and I've been kind of on this this um, ban of the restaurant and a lot of my friends have and a lot of my associates have and today one of the owners came by and he apologized he was very sad he said we miss you in the restaurant I said I miss the restaurant actually um, but he apologized and that meant a lot to me so I think the solution to my own problem even with my friends just like the restaurant is that apologies even if it's from me or from them or from anyone is that we can all start over again. We all fuck up. We all have our moments. But it's really okay and there is always redemption. Always, always, always. If you get a chance, tweet me at Studio J Wright. Hashtag Coolie is a new garbo. Mwah. I adore you.